Hey guys, welcome back. Well today I've got the Batinzik Dreamer Pro back again for another video. As you guys probably know if you're subscribed to my channel, I did do a first look and overview of this drone yesterday, but unfortunately the weather here has been really, really bad. Either really windy, pouring rain, or snowing, and I just have not been able to get it up in the air. But what I uh, found out today, there is a firmware update for this. It was just released on Amazon today. So if you want to buy this drone, it is now available to, to order, though I don't think it will ship for another week or two. I don't think they, it says before Valentine's Day, I think, on the website. It is $279 after you uh, clip off the $20 off coupon on the Amazon webpage. But anyway, there is a firmware update since, they, since the product is live now. They have a firmware update. So I've not done yet that. I wanted to see, you know, for one, does it tell us anything about the firmware when we do it? And two, what's all involved with that firmware update? So I'm going to go ahead and click here. I want to go ahead and start, start a screen recording first. So now, now I got a screen recording going. So now let's go ahead and go back to the app. Again, that app is the Batinzik Pro app. All right, now we got a screen recording going. That way now you guys don't have to uh, try to watch this through my camcorders. It would not be very good through the camera. So let's go ahead and click that. And now it just says to download the firmware. So obviously this will take a moment to download. So we'll just jump ahead. You don't need to sit there and watch the progress bar for a couple of minutes. Okay guys, so it downloaded the firmware and then it went back to this main screen where it says to please connect to aircraft and enter the operation interface to upgrade. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna click on the enter device and that should bring us into this. And yeah, now it's going to tell us what we're all getting here with the uh, image transmission firmware is upgrading. Um, it just has, it's like four uh, megabytes and size and the little note here says improve the image transmission quality during long distance flight so they've done something that's supposed to help with the FPV uh, signal when you're flying it farther away so you just go ahead and click on the upgrade and now it should go through you see two four percent and the meter goes along so again if this doesn't it just takes very long we'll just go ahead and jump ahead to the end okay it says it successfully upgraded the firmware and it says disconnected, so let's see, does it just reconnect? It's searching again, which is what, this is what it does when it first is binding with the craft. This little, looks like a radar signal spinning. We'll do searching, and then at that time, you can see the drone's lights flash. And let's see, it usually goes, they've gone, they've gone solid now, and then and shortly afterwards, that searching will stop and then it allows you to enter the device if this works correctly. It's still going here. So what let's do, let's just go ahead and power off the, uh, the controller all the way. And then let's see, the drone's gonna flash now. Just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and power off the drone. So to do that, you do a quick press and then a long press like DJI. And now we see the gimbal has lost power. Let's go ahead and do that again. Quick press, long press. And now it's powered up and then let's go ahead and let's do that on the uh you just do a long press on the control oddly enough you don't actually do a, a a a short press long press and we may have to exit out of the app here let's just close it out and see if i open it back up or i might just need to kill the app out completely because it wasn't knowing to look for the uh the drone there. Let's see what happens here once it gets to the main screen. Now it's just sitting there and doing nothing. I'm not overly concerned because these apps, now it's gonna go into, look, boom, we're not connected. They can be weird. Um, I've always had little problems with my apps with stuff like get an FPV signal, Lexi and that come back and FPV signal doesn't want to reestablish itself. Just weird stuff. Um, a lot of that's just Android related. The fact that Android keeps the app running in the background, then you leave and come back, it leaves it in the same state it was in. It doesn't actually exit the app. 
and that's part of the problem too. But yeah, we should be good to go now. As you can see, there's no firmware updates, and now we've got an FPV signal. I think you can see if we can swipe this away at our, on the uh, some of the menus there. Okay, and now we got. You can see we have a nice level horizon here on the white. This is it's seeing my white table, but we can do it. You can tilt. Is it is a bit quick, the uh, gimbal. And I don't see any way to adjust that. So I'd like to see Potensic add a a uh, gimbal adjustment speed and sensitivity, and a gimbal calibration. Because I don't know the gimbal. I don't know if there's. I've not had a chance to fly mine yet. We'll find out. Um, but I've noticed a few times yesterday it looked like the yaw was a little off center on the uh, three axis gimbal. And that's something that obviously would be calibrated in a gimbal calibration. We'll have to see if that really is not the case or if it's just an illusion. All right, guys, so that was pretty easy to update. Like I said, I don't know the exact info on what this firmware is and everything there. It may have been on that screen we were looking at. It doesn't tell you initially. But we can see this was a minor upgrade to uh, improve the image transmission. But as you can see, very straightforward as I figured it would be. So it's not anything complicated. You don't even have to go any special screens. Once you download it, the app immediately says, hey, it's ready. Click upgrade. So it's not hard to find. This will be a piece of cake for anybody that needs to do it. And I'm glad to see they've done it. They should probably do some more as they get feedback or tweaks. Because anytime these drones, there's always a few things you need to fix or tweak. The fact that this drone is essentially the same drone as before. The only real thing I'm going to see them that they would need that they might need to tweak in fruit future firmware upgrades would be gimbal settings, PIDs for the gimbal settings to get it, you know, if it has any issues, which I don't know if it does. And then the fact that this drone no longer operates on, you know, 5G Wi-Fi like the old one, that, you know, that's where they probably did some image transmission updates in this one because we're using the, the OTG cable here into your phone and it's coming into an antenna. So there could be some tweaks they have to do there. I assume that one antenna is probably your FPV, your video signal, and the other one's probably, I don't know which one it is, but I assume one of them's the video signal, one is your control of the drone. All right, guys, that wraps up this rather brief firmware upgrade slash firmware tutor tutorial on how to do an upgrade for the Batensic Dreamer Pro. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Give this video a like. That helps out a ton more than you think. If you uh, are a subscriber but don't always get notifications, make sure you click the bell because it's very easy to forget to do that and then you miss a whole lot of the person's videos. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side. side, side.